Our next form will be the cylinder. So with a cylinder, we want to do a foreshortened oval. Again, foreshortened means that we're making it thinner at the top, kind of more of a narrow oval. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put an oval, kind of a foreshortened means we're making it skinny, foreshortened oval. We're going to have two vertical lines coming down. And then again, we want to have parallel lines here. So if this is curved, we wouldn't want this to go straight across because if we draw this straight across, that's going to look more like a box. So we want to make this parallel line. So if this is curved this direction, we want to curve this in the same direction. And again, we need a light source. So I like having all my light sources on the same sides. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my light source over here. And again, it's coming over on this side. It's not necessarily coming down. You want to think about the light source as being over off to the side and shining against this area here. So when we go to shade this, again, similar to what we did up here, we kind of put it in sections. And the more sections you can create, and if you need to do this as a guideline, then please do. You should have at least four. You should have a white. You should have a black and at least two or three mediums. So really should be five light, white, black, and at least three mediums, I think is what I usually tell students. And I might have been wrong on this one because I think I've been telling you four, but I think it's usually five. But that's okay. So first start with your darkest side here. Go start with the part that's furthest away from the sun. Now again, I'm going up and down, but I could also go across like this, which is going to help make this form look more three-dimensional because I'm using contour line. I'm going in the same direction as this here. By going up and down it might look a little bit more flat. So notice I'm going to make that, this is black, and I'm going to make this next one. Try and make this my next door neighbor color. This one takes a little bit more time if you're going sideways. Do you see this line that's kind of right in here? We don't want to see that. So if you go back and just take your pencil and just gradually see if you can't blend that in. See if you can't make that disappear. And I might have to go in and kind of go up and down just here to get that black. Just a little bit more. Try and keep your edges nice and crisp and clean. And again I'm going to go in I'm going to lighten this up even further. You could use the side of your pencil if you want. My pencil needs to be sharpened. There we go. And use the side as opposed to the front. When you're blending, the side of your pencil always seems to work better than the tip of your pencil. You have a little bit more lead to work with. It goes a little quicker sometimes. Of course, they have to be doing the technique properly. So do you see how I'm just getting lighter and lighter? And as you get better at learning how to create different values, you're going to be able to really kind of push and pull your values. You're going to hear me say that a lot. I want you to really push and pull those values. You're not pushing and pulling. You've got to make those values pop. Remember you want to leave white on the edge. Don't let it get too gray. You want some white right on the edge. By having that white and having this black, that's what's going to create that wonderful contrast and have it look really cool. Now I want to talk a little bit about the top because there's two things you can do for a top. Notice here that on these forms, all these forms are round. So when the, when the light is over here on the side, the light is going to be able to travel around the object because it's round. So I'll just take this candle here on my table here for a minute. And if light is coming down and light is hitting the side of this, because this is round, the light is going to travel because it's curved. The light's going to turn and it's going to travel. Whereas if I had something that was square, and I'll use my pencil sharpener as this, if I had something that was square and I had light coming at it, the light's going to hit this side and then it's going to stop because it's not round. The light isn't going to turn the corner because this is a straight edge. But if it's curved, if it's curved like this candle here, 
then it's going to be able to wrap its way around. So notice we have, so when we have something that's round, we're going to show a gradation of value from light to dark. When we have something that's flat, we're going to treat it with one value, and you're going to see that when we do the cube next. So let's take a look at this. If my, let's pretend this is a soup can. If the soup can cover is on, and we haven't taken it off yet, and it's flat, then this is going to stay one value, just like that. But if you would like to challenge yourself, and I'm going to erase this, and let's pretend we've taken the cover off of the soup can. Because we've taken the cover off of the soup can, now it's open. So now the inside is round. So when the light comes in, if the light's over here and it's hitting and it's coming down, what do you think's going to happen? Where's the light going to hit? Is the light going to hit on this side or is the light going to hit on this side? If the light's coming down, the light's going to come in, it's going to hit on this side. So the opposite is going to occur. So that means that if the light is on this side and it's shining down inside the soup can, this is now going to be my white side and this is now going to be the black because light, we know, doesn't bend. Light doesn't bend. Not unless we have some type of a prism that it's going through. So in this case, it's just straight and it's going to go in the opposite direction. Do you see that there? Okay. Don't forget your cast shadow coming right from the bottom. Remember, straight out from the bottom and stops right at that edge. Should be nice and dark, closest to your form and then as it comes away from the form it's going to get gradually lighter. Our cube is up next.